you're working on a book or a magazine or anything that has more than a few pages, you owe it to your readers to add page numbers. But it's a hassle to add page numbers to each and every page, right? Wrong. InDesign makes page numbers a snap. We want our page numbers on every document page. So where should we put them? That's right, the master page. I'll open my pages panel, double click on master page A, and I'm going to put my page numbers here at the bottom of the page. So I'll grab my type tool, drag out a text frame, and type inside that text frame. I'm gonna zoom in to 200% here so I can see it better by pressing Command 2 or Control 2 on Windows. And I'll type two, right? Or three or four. No, you don't wanna type the actual number here. You want a stand-in, a marker, a symbol, something that's gonna change on every page. So that special character can be found under the type menu. Type, insert special character, markers. And the marker we're gonna use is called the current page number. Here on this page, it says A, because we're on master page A, but it will change on every document page automatically. I'll zoom out to fit the whole spread in the window with Command Option 0 or Control Alt 0, and I'm going to apply some formatting to this by going to my Paragraph Styles panel, scrolling down until I see Page Number, and clicking on that. That looks okay, but I want to make it a little prettier. I'll put some text around it. I think I'll put a space and then an M dash, which you can get with an Option Shift hyphen. That inserts an M dash after. I'll put one before. There we go. That looks pretty good. Now I'm going to grab my Selection Tool and Option Shift or Alt Shift, drag it across to the right page. So now I have page numbers on both my left and right pages of this document. Let's see if it works. I'll close my Paragraph Styles panel by clicking on that, open my Pages panel, and I'm gonna jump to pages 12 and 13 by clicking on those numbers in the Pages panel. When I zoom in on the bottom of this page, we can see that the A was in fact replaced by this current page number, page 12. On page 13, it says 13, on 14, it's 14, and so on. And the great thing about these automatic page numbers is if you later add pages or remove pages, they automatically update. So you never have to worry about it again. If you start adding a lot of pages to your document, like this book, for example, you're probably going to want to break the pages into sections. That's what I'm going to cover next.